You're welcome to this wonderful time on Seas of Destiny. Our Seed of Destiny is titled today, Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this precious one watching. Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Monday, the very first day of June 2020. Praise the Lord. The Lord has been awesome and we've had an amazing e-conference, e-convention. I, I, I mean, I have, it was, it's so, such an experience and I believe that your life and destiny will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. This month, God is opening up our destiny and ushering us into his plans for our lives and we're looking forward to the very first Sunday that we're going to be having all together in church this Sunday. Hallelujah. Awesome God. Well, today our topic on the 1st of June is understanding prayer. The Bible says, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 10. Thought for the day. Prayer is a platform for communion between God and man. Now, the subject of prayer is one of the most misunderstood subjects in Christendom. Many people do not actually understand what prayer is all about. There are people who think that prayer only happens when they face a challenge or have a need. So they have no business praying except there is a challenge or there is a need. And this is why such people can live for weeks and months and even a whole year without praying until there is a challenge. Beloved, is this what prayer is about? No, it's not, certainly not. Now, the question is, what is prayer about? First and foremost, we must understand that prayer is a platform for communication between God and man. You see that in Matthew 9, 6, 9a. Where, where the Bible says, our Father, which is in heaven, it portrays a communion or communication, a relationship dimension of prayer. Prayer is a platform for communion between God and man. Number two, prayer is a platform for the offering of thanks and praise and worship to God. Matthew 9, 6, 9b. Now, hallowed be thy name. That entails worship. It entails the thanks dimension, praise dimension, worship dimension. This is the dimension of, of prayer that the only reason to pray is the offering of thanks, praise and worship to God. This is called the prayer of adoration. So prayer is not only about asking God for something, but also the offering of thanks and praise and worship to God. Thirdly, prayer is the platform for the establishment of the rule and the will of God in the earth. Matthew 6, 10, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 6, 10, this entails the establishment of the rule and the will of God in the earth. One reason for our concern, um, our passion, our prayer for our nation is that what is happening here, like in most places in the world today, is contrary to the will of God for a people. So prayer is the platform where we enforce and establish the will and the program and the agenda of God on the earth as it is in heaven. It is a platform where we enforce what God wants in our lives. So beloved, having understood what prayer entails, 
My counsel is, or our counsel is, make up your mind to pray effectively. Take prayer um, passionately. Uh, uh, take a prayer platform for buoyant communication with God, uh, for offering God thanks and praise and worship, and for having him establish his rule in your life and on the earth. Praise the Lord. Remember this, that prayer is a platform for communion between God and man. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, maintain a buoyant communion with God always. And secondly, offer thanks and praise and worship to him consistently. And thirdly, pray to enforce his rule and his will on the earth in your life, in your family, in your community, in the church and in the nation. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Father, thank you for opening my eyes to see what prayer entails. I receive the grace to commune with you, to offer thanks and to enforce your will on the earth. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. I'm excited. God bless you. But before I close, you want to make the very first day of June 2020 your year of being born again, your day of being born again, your time of salvation. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins and make me a new person. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day today. In Jesus' name. I'm going to ask that um, we're going to have uh, us cue the song that... Uh, uh, we sang as a family, Dr. Paul and Angel family. Um, it's a song I received. I just woke up out of sleep with the song, singing the song, and uh, we went ahead and recorded it. We're going to play it, cue it immediately, immediately after the Seas of Destiny, because that's what today's uh, Right Talk talks about. Father in heaven, and I believe that you'll be blessed. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, thy will be done.